Thank you, Jesus. Baba, we say thank you. Arubo Ojo, we say thank you. The ancient of days, we say thank you. The monarch of the universe, we say thank you. The governor of all nations, we say thank you. The redeemer of our soul, we say thank you. Thank you, Father, for another opportunity to be in your presence today. Father in heaven, we declare this fellowship today open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Spirit, our blessed Holy Spirit, our senior partner, we welcome you into our midst. Have your way as we fellowship together with our Father. Have your way and bless everyone that has logged in and those that are yet to log in and those that will connect with us via our YouTube channel. Father, bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Our life will never remain the same. Thank you, Father. As we go into the worship section now, Father, we pray that, Lord, that you minister to each and every one of us through the song ministration in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We bless you, Father. Lord, we say bless. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, O Lord. We give you praise, O Lord. We give you praise, O Lord.
neighbor in the eye and say, neighbor, I am convinced that God will God is going to show up in your life today in the name of Jesus. I say God is going to show up in your life today in the name of Jesus. I say it again the third time, God the Almighty who created you, who created me, he will show up in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless God for that section. Thank you, Father. Once again, we want to appreciate everyone that has logged in. We appreciate you today. God bless you for logging in from Nigeria, from Canada, from uh, Europe, from US. God bless you for logging in. Uh, by the grace of God, today we are going to be doing a lot of praying. In fact, I will be doing the praying. You just be saying amen. Uh, if your area is muted, you can just be typing amen. And if your area is not noisy, let me be hearing your amen. Hallelujah. But if your area is uh, noisy, just remain muted. But be typing amen because I am just, I feel led to pray for us. And I'm believing God that as we do, the Almighty God will answer us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we appreciate you one more time for your presence in our midst. Okay, we'll continue with our series I Am Destined for Glory, part three. This is I am, uh, I am Destined for Glory, part three. And our text is taken from Romans chapter 9, 23 to 24, Jeremiah 1, 4 to 5, and 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 29. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Another beautiful and glorious day to be in the presence of our senior partner, the Holy Spirit who is the representative of the Godhead in this present dispensation. And the Holy Spirit will touch you today. He will touch me today. Because of our time, you know, our time is fast spent. We've just spent about 15 minutes now. And we have just about 45 minutes to go. The Lord will help us. So because of our time, I won't be able to read the three references. But at your usual time, I want you to go over them. You know, they really speak what uh, we have to share with us today. I am destined for glory. So permit me to read 1 Samuel 15, verse 29. And I'm going to read it from Berean Study Bible. Berean Study Bible. It goes thus. Moreover, the glory of Israel does not lie or change its mind. For he is not a man that he should change his mind. I take it again. Moreover, the glory of Israel does not lie or change his mind. For he is not a man that he should change his mind. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 uh, uh, confirm what we are reading in 4 Samuel. Malachi 3 6 says, I am the Lord, I am Yahweh, I am the I am that I am, I change not. Now, if God, the Almighty, does not change, then it, it implies that whatever he has destined me for in this life, no power of hell can alter it. That is my belief. I don't know about you. That is my own belief. I believe strongly that if God does not change, 
according to first Samuel chapter 15, verse 29, and according to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, if God does not change, whatever he has said concerning my life, Whatever he has spoken concerning me, whatever rema he has given me, whatever dream he has given me, whatever he has designed me for, because according to Romans chapter, chapter 9, verse 23 to 24, it made me to understand that, that, that he has designed me for glory. And since he does not change, I believe strongly, no power from the pit of hell can alter what the Lord has spoken to me. If that is your conviction, I want you to say yes. Type yes on our dashboard. Hallelujah. And as you're typing yes, you are also agreeing with me that you also, no power from the pit of hell can alter whatever God has spoken to us. My brothers, my sisters, relax in Christ Jesus. You know why I said that you should relax? You will surely become whatever you are destined to be. You will surely become it because the strength, the glory of Israel, the strength of Israel does not lie. He does not change his mind. Hallelujah. He doesn't change his mind. Brethren, the first prayer point. Hey, Masutua, the first prayer point. Like I said, we are going to pray throughout today. The first prayer point, my, he my heavenly father, I thank you because my glory in Christ Jesus is intact and secured. Do you understand that prayer point? It's a prayer of thanksgiving. As you are thanking God, you are, in, you are now agreeing with heaven. My heavenly father, I thank you because my glory in Christ Jesus is intact and is secured in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, lift up your voice, and begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Brethren, we are handling a very complex subject, which most many Christians, they have been deceived and confused. But for you, on this platform, you will not be confused. Father, I thank you because, because my glory in Christ Jesus is secure. My glory in Christ Jesus is sure. My glory is in Christ Jesus is intact. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Lukupa, are you a likatala paruki kedano la papa yati? Father, thank you because my glory in Christ Jesus is secure. Father, I thank you because my glory in Christ Jesus is sure. Father, I thank you because my glory in Christ Jesus is intact. Lukupa katali karante no sopa e kiade o yelia. Because it is intact, Father, I say thank you. Baba, I say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, on behalf of my brethren, and including myself, we come before you this day. We say, Father, thank you, Baba. Thank you, Father, for our glory. Thank you, Father, for the glory of Sister Deborah. Thank you, Father, for the glory of uh, uh, Precious. Thank you, Father, for the glory of Sister Cordelia. Thank you, Father, for the, for the glory of Sister Olamide. Thank you, Father, for the glory of Sister Florence. Thank you, Father, for the glory of everyone that have logged in today. Thank you, Father, for the glory of Sister Tonya. Father, we say thank you. Papa, we say thank you. Thank you for the glory of Sister Kende. Lord, we say thank you. Yala papa re to makatia. Thank you, Father, for the glory of Sister Viola. Thank you, Father, Papa. Everyone that have logged in, Father, tonight or uh, this morning. Father, we say thank you, Father, for our glory. We are thanking you, Father, because our glory is sure. Our glory in Christ Jesus is certain. Our glory in Christ Jesus is secured. Father, because of this, we say thank you. Because we, we know that the devil, the enemy of our life, cannot access this glory. Father, thank you. 
thank you. As long as Father Baba, you do not change, you do not change. Even what you have spoken concerning our glory does not all. Can, no power can alter it. No power can change it. No power can swallow it. No power can, no power can steal it. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Brethren, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Today, you will enter into your glory. This season, you will enter into your glory. Brethren, just permit me to briefly look at the story of a man who came out from a dirty polygamous family. And this same man rose up to experience his God-given glory. And that man is in the Bible. And his name is Joseph Israel. Mr. Joseph Israel. I'm going to be reading Genesis chapter 37. But before we read up the story of this man of glory, let me make these profound statements. Please, I beg you, I beg you. What I'm going to, the statement I'm going to make now, these are profound statements that you must keep them on your path. Put them in your mind. Let them be your subconscious mind. I am telling you, if you really believe in this statement I'm going to make now, your life will never remain the same. The devil will no more cheat on you. I am telling you, the devil has cheated on us for too long. The devil has kept us in ignorance for too long. And because of that, we have not been able to live up to God's expectation. And the time is what, and, and, and the time is going. The, the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. We are getting closer to our grave. And yet, we, are not, we have not been able to reflect what we are being made of by the Almighty God. And even God himself is not happy. Jesus is not happy. Because the Bible tells me that, 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 that in the book of Isaiah 53, he said that when he will have seen the fruit of his travail, he will be satisfied. Jesus Christ is yet to see the fruit of his travail, the purpose for which he came to die on the cross. Because you and my humble self, we have not been able to live up to, this, up to his expectation. And he's not happy about it. Today, the Lord will deliver you from every ignorance that the enemy has kept you into in the name of Jesus. Three, about three to four pronounced, uh, uh, profound statements I'm going to make now. Number one, brethren, listen to me. Your past or your background has nothing to do with your destined glory. I take it again because I'm going to go slowly and I want you to really enter into your subconscious mind. Your past, your background has nothing to do with your destined glory. Number two, your past or your background cannot stop your destiny or cannot stop your destined glory from manifesting. It cannot. No matter your past, no matter your, uh, your background, it cannot stop your destined glory from manifesting. Number three, your household enemies can, can only delay your destined glory. If God, take note of that, if God allows them, but listen to me, but they cannot stop nor steal your God-given glory. I don't believe in all these the enemies stole my glory and gave it to someone else. I don't believe in it. When God opened my eyes to this truth, yes, and, I'm, and I have the Bible references to prove my point. Yes, because there are a lot of prayer, prayer points out there. Pray. 
How else will I name him? Vomit my glory that you have swallowed. Who said that? Who is that enemy? Even the devil himself cannot swallow your glory. Talk less of all those small, small demons. Small, small kindergarten demons. Not very school demons. Your household enemy can only delay if God allows. But they can never stop your God-given glory from manifesting. Number four, take note of those these pro profound statements. Number four, just as a dirty hundred, no, uh, uh, just as a dirty hundred dollar note does not lose its value simply because it's being dirty. It, it can even be, you know, rough and dirty. Do you know that hundred dollar note doesn't lose its value? The same dirty hundred dollar note has the same value with a very clean, neat $100 note. It doesn't lose its value. As long as, number one, it still has a serial number. Number two, it is not torn into two. And number three, it is original. Once there are these three things on that dirty $100 note, it does not lose its value. Now, Listen to me. As it is to that dirty hundred dollars, even so, your past dirty life cannot stop your glory from manifesting. And that's a good news. That's a good news. The, when God opened my eyes to this truth, honestly, I have been excited. You know why? Because my past I had a dirty past. I came from a polygamous, I grew up in a polygamous home. And I knew what it is to come out from a polygamous background. It was so dirty. But when the Lord showed me this truth, I told myself, my past, you can't stop me from manifesting the glory of God in my life. My background, you can't stop me. Hallelujah. But I tell yourself, I am original. As long as I am, as long as you don't fake it, just be, be yourself. Put your past behind you. It has happened, it has happened. That is your past. It's not your present. Your past cannot determine your future. Your past cannot determine your glory. Never. Your past cannot alter what God has spoken concerning you. That is my belief. And that is why I am so passionate about what I'm sharing with us. Because I've come to realize that majority of us are being trapped. I remember a particular sister. This sister, oh my God, when she's singing like this, you would think that she was a, uh, 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 an angel. Just because uh, she wanted to enter into a particular uh, a college of education. Several years ago, I'm talking about, about, about 40 years ago. I don't even know where she is now. Now, the lecturer told her that she had to sleep with him before she could get that admission, which she did. And she got the admission. But the, the devil now magnified that thing that she did, told her that, that she has committed unpardonable sin. And then I was just a young convert. I told her, I said, Sister Lucy, ah, no, whatever you have done, just ask God for forgiveness and you come back. And she refused. And that made that to, she went into immorality, started committing abortion and did a lot of atrocities because she said that she has committed unpardonable sin. See the way the devil just removed her away from the path to her glory. I don't know what happened after that. Hallelujah. Brethren, the devil will not deceive you. Enough of all this deception from the pit of hell. I pray for you today, whatever your past that the enemy are using to tie you down, I command that demon to lose his grip over your life now in the name of Jesus. Brethren, as I'm praying, just be typing amen. Like I said, I'll be praying for us as I'll be talking. I'll be praying along. 
ke karu ke dule ka wa te obele ku parandia i command whatever your past that the enemy is take is holding on to to tie you down not tie your glory but to tie you down because he knows that when he ties you down when they tie you down you won't be able to assess your glory i command able lakata you that demon i command your grip over this individual hearing my voice i command your grip over him now over her to be destroyed now in the name of jesus lukupa katara kata o gukonte eya le karandia Sundeli kakoli karandia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's come back to the story of Mr. Joseph Israel in Genesis chapter thirty-seven. I told us that Joseph, the man destined for glory, he grew up from a polygamous family, very dirty. If you go and read the story of the background of Joseph, very very dirty. And this young man, as a teenager, his step brothers, his step brothers, they tell him like shit. His step brothers, the same father but not the same mother, they they tell him like shit. Hallelujah! Thank you, Father. To some of us, listen to me. The battles of life that we are facing is is simply because of the nature of our destined glory, and that's a revelation to someone. The battle you are facing, the battle you have you are being confronted with, but eventually it's because of your destiny that you are carrying, just as it happened to Joseph here. Because of the nature of the glory of uh, Joseph, see how he was hated. See what happened to him. First Samuel chapter thirty-seven, thirteen to fourteen. First Samuel thirty-seven, thirteen to fourteen. If you read that, that story, because of our time, if you read that story, you will see that there was a time that the father called him and told him that he should go and see the welfare of his step brothers, and he obeyed. He took off. Little did Joseph know that the journey to glory. Has begun. Has been activated. Did you did you know? In the name of Jesus, obey Kurakata. I command your journey to glory. You listening to me right now. You are the sound of my voice. I command your journey to glory to be activated now. In the name of Jesus, just as that of Joseph was activated. I know that as I'm praying for you, I'm also praying for myself. I pray for you right now, listening to me. I pray for you right now that the journey to your glory to be activated now in the name of Jesus. I pray that heaven to set in motion your journey to glory. In the name of Jesus, and any journey that you are about to embark on, which is going to remove you, which is not in alignment with your glory, ah, my Lord, my Father, prevent such a one to embark on such journey. In the name of Jesus, if that journey does not align, align, align with his glory. If he does not in, in consonant with the journey to his to his glory or to her glory, Father, a reboli karante ali kiado. Whatever you have to do, Father, go ahead and do it and stop, oh Lord, Father, that journey, Father, in the name of Jesus. You will not embark on any journey that will remove you, that will cause you to be out of alignment with your glory. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For Samuel thirty-seven, if you read from verse fifteen to eighteen, Hallelujah. Joseph set up, set on that journey, and 
he went. And as he was going, he, he got to a place, he couldn't find them. He saw someone, please, sir, I'm looking for my brethren. Did you blah, blah, blah? Just, oh, yes, I saw some people over there. Uh, just go towards this side. And he continued. Verse 18. Verse 18. That's where I'm going to stop. And then we pray. In verse 18, look at what the Bible says. They said that now, when they, who are those days? Joseph household enemies. Joseph household enemies. When they saw him, brethren, I told us two weeks ago, don't ever think that your household enemies are not seeing you. If you like, go to anywhere in this world. They are seeing you. I remember a particular woman came. She was being introduced to me when I was in my former, former church. And um, the woman came. She said that she went to the US, that that's how she had been going to US with her, uh, her children's, uh, I think, academic results. And nothing happened. But this time around, she went, she had been passed, I think it was John F. Kennedy Airport. She has passed through the immigration, everything was okay. She went. And the next thing, one of them just called her that. She should come back. That she should open her back. And the next thing they say, what was she doing with that, uh, with those documents? She, said, ah. she was surprised. She said, she's been going, you know, she's been carrying this up and on, not today, not, not. Anyway, to cut the long story short, right from that airport, she was, she was deported back to Nigeria. And she came and she was angry that she's going to write petition, she's going to sue them. I said, mommy, the only way you get the truth. When you want to see in there, when it, it, you didn't see them, but they follow you down to the place. You thought that they couldn't get you. It, is, it was the work of an enemy. So, brethren, don't ever believe or don't think that enemies don't see you. They saw Joseph afar off. And we're told that, and before he came near them, see what they said, they conspired against him. They held a secret meeting unknown to Joseph, who was innocent. Do you know how many times have you found yourself with people and you did not know that they've already planned evil against you? And you did not know. And here you are innocently. You were even telling them your, your mind innocently. And they are the people in charge of your case. Hallelujah. They conspired against him. They held a secret meeting against Joseph to do what? To kill him. Not to kill his glory. You know, I told you that I have scriptures to back up my points. Not to kill his glory, but to kill Joseph. Because they know that if they should go after his glory, they can't get it. They can't assess it. But they knew that the, if, they were, if they are able to eliminate Joseph, it would be difficult for Joseph to assess, to manifest his glory. Because they know that as long as Joseph is alive, nothing can stop him from assessing his glory. Nothing can, st nothing can stop him from making it. And they know that the only way they could stop the glory of Joseph from manifesting was to eliminate his life, was to kill him. You know, I told us, the devil cannot tamper with your glory, but the devil can tamper with your human life. The devil can tamper with your body. And the purpose of doing that is to get you off alignment of your glory. Yes. They couldn't touch his glory, but they could touch his life. And that was what they did. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, no matter how powerful your enemies are, they cannot touch you. Sorry, they cannot touch your glory. 
but they can touch you. And that is why we need the Holy Ghost in our life. That is why we need Jesus. That is why we need God. Yes, you, you can prosper in life if you follow the principles of success. Yes, hard work, diligent, you make it. But you are exposed to the devil. You are exposed to your enemy. That's where God's factor comes in. Brethren, I'm, I'm going to be praying now. Like I said, I want your amen to be sounding like a like bomb. Hallelujah. Let me even unmute us. But if you know that your area is noisy, please just help us do us a favor by remaining muted. I'm telling you, you are going to, you are going to become what God has destined you for. Amen. Hallelujah. Like I said, today, I'll be praying for us. I feel led to pray for us. All the black ones I'm going to call, except one. Except one. I'm going to be praying now. Because you must enter into your glory. That is why Amen. God has established this, our platform. We're not here for entertainment. We are here to pray ourselves into our glory because our glory is waiting, is waiting, is waiting for us to assess it and get it. Yes, Jesus has paid the price for your glory to manifest. Hallelujah. The almighty God has, mm. has released Jesus Christ to pay the price so that your glory that the enemy deprived Adam of in the kind of Eden, that glory might return back into your life, into my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Father. I want to be hearing your amen to be sounding because you are getting to your glory. Your glory is there waiting for you. I pray against every evil act. Watching and monitoring you. Every evil eye that is monitoring you. To hmm. carry to carry a name or something. I command those evil eyes right now. Wherever they are operating from, I command those evil eyes to go blind now. In the Amen. Evil. Amen. I command those evil eyes to go blind in the name Amen. of Jesus. Wherever Amen. they are, whether they Amen. are in your family, whether Amen. they are in your paternal bloodline, they are your maternal bloodline, Rakado, Makuri, Kedilati, Yade, Nidabo, Oyale, Kagandoro, Odiye, Keri, Kada, wherever they are, I command their eyes to be blind now in the name of Jesus. And whatever they are using, whatever gadgets that they are using to monitor your life. I command those gadgets to be destroyed. I smash them. I smash them. I destroy them. I smash them. I smash them. I smash them. I destroy them. I smash them. I destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they have used to represent you in their in their satanic altar, in their in their coven, whatever they have used to represent you, I command the fire of God. So go right now and visit us in any other time and that thing to get Amen. to catch fire. Now, in the name of Amen. Jesus, Amen. I command Amen. that thing to catch fire. Amen. I command Amen. that thing to catch fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy, every conspiracy against you, every household network against you because of your glory, right now, I command them to scatter. And be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command them scatter and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command them scatter and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command them scatter and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command them scatter and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Wherever your household enemies, wherever they are hiding, to, to perpetrate that evil. I command them to be exposed right now in the name of Jesus. Let the sword of the Lord go after them. Let the sword of the Lord go after them. 
in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Stop sucking. Let the sword of the Lord go after them. And let his word of the Lord begin to suck their blood in the name of Jesus. Begin to eat the flesh in the name of Jesus. Let his word of the Lord begin to suck their blood and eat of their flesh, cut them to pieces in the name of Jesus. And bring all the ten thousand household enemies that say that no, that until they see your end, that they will not let go. Because they know that if they allow you alone, you are going to manifest your glory. And because they don't want you to manifest your glory. And that is why they say, let us eliminate this. Let us eliminate this, this woman. I come against them right now. But look at Tela Karika Talaparia. Oh, my goodness. Let the sword of the Almighty God locate them right now. Locate them right now in the name of Jesus. Let the sword of the Lord begin to suck their blood, begin to suck their blood, begin to suck their blood, begin to fit on their flesh in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I command every any all repentant man or woman consulting evil altars because of your glory. All the rituals and sacrifices that have been carried out, I command them to backfire in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I command them to backfire. Whatever Amen. ritual that I've done, Amen. I command them to backfire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every conspiracy, one more time, and, and every satanic household, Father, remove them right now. Eliminate them. Eliminate them. Eliminate them. I bombshell them wherever they are. I bombshell in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every satanic witchcraft manipulation against you because of your glory to cause you to, to be out of alignment with your glory. Some people, they, what they do is that and they go say, the person they're supposed to get married to, they will so do it that the oh God. People are so wicked. People are so wicked. But they know that if this person should marry this person, ah, oh, they, they will be so wonderful. They already have a glimpse. And what would they do? They just manipulate everything, manipulate the whole thing, and that person will just miss that person. I command every witchcraft manipulation against any one of us on this platform to remove us from our place of glory. I command such manipulations to be exposed right now and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command such manipulations to be exposed and be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, and look at the good there, and look at and look at and look at the and my Lord, ah, Eluado, Paluketa, Maruketa, 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 Sholika Randa, any pitfall that the enemy has set for us. <laughs> any pitfall that the enemy has set for us to swallow us so that we will not be able to live to, to experience our glory. Right now, I command their own people to fall to, to, to fall therein. In the name of Amen. Jesus, because according to your word, you said that, that whatever good that the enemy has done for us, they are the ones that will enter to it. Therefore, Amen. I command in the name of Amen. Jesus, let them enter into the pit which they have done. In the name of Jesus, I command them to enter into their pit after the order of Haman. In the name of Jesus, after the manner of Haman. In the name of Amen. Jesus, the same word that that they are they are constructed to swallow our life, so they won't be able to access our glory. But they can go to her. I command them right now in the name of Jesus. Let it be their own end. Let it be you for their own destruction. Now, in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. 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 Oh, my heavenly Father. 
Oh, Lord, we come before you this day. Yeah, yeah, Father, we yeah, come yeah. before you, Baba, yeah, my, yeah. myself, and this yeah, my brethren. Yeah. Father, yeah, we come yeah. before you. Father, we ask for mercy. Mercy to bring yeah. us back, to bring yeah. everyone back into alignment with yeah. his or her glory. In the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Father, if, if some of us have to relocate, mm-hmm. Father, in order to contact our glory, Father, mm-hmm. cause us to relocate. Mm-hmm. Just as when Joseph needed to contact his glory, mm-hmm. something had to happen. You orchestrated all the events so that Joseph will be able to be in the land where he will be able to assess his glory and his glory will manifest. Father, in that regard, as long as Joseph is in, is in Canaan, he, he cannot assess that glory until he, mm-hmm. until he found his way to, until mm-hmm. situations, events uh, brought him to uh, 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 Egypt where mm-hmm. he was able to assess his, his glory. Mm-hmm. Father, I pray for every one of us on this platform right now, Baba. Father, we have long stayed, my father. We have long stayed, father, in this state, father. Where we are, father, Baba, if where we are, Baba, our glory is not there. Father Elika, in your mercy, Father, in your mercy, great an event, Baba, orchestrate event, Baba, Father, orchestrate event, Father, to bring us, oh my Father, to that place where Father will be able to come in contact with our glory in the name of Jesus. For some people, it is marriage, to some people, it is job, to some people, it is just to make contact with someone. Ah, Baba, we look up unto you this day. Ruby Catalaka, the Wapoda, a Yupi Kopi, and the Elaka Kiade, or Yeni Kara. Some people, it is a place, it is a geographical lo- location. Father, bring us to that geographical location, Father. Where we will come in contact with our glory, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Lord and my God, Father, if we are still linking like Lord, Father, push us out. Father, push us out. Let our angel hold our hand, Father, and push us into our glory, into our place of glory. In the name of Jesus. When we are lingering, where we are lingering and we are lingering because of our short sightedness, because we cannot see well, because of our being myopic. Father, we are asking, Baba, by the reason of the anointing, use your angel, Father. To drag us and drag us and push us, Father, into our place of glory. In the mm-hmm. name of Jesus. Father, mm-hmm. this year, Baba, beginning from now, this second quarter, Father, we want to enter into our glory. We want to enter into our glory. In the name mm-hmm. of Jesus. We have come to believe that, Father, that our past has not, nothing to do with our glory. Therefore, Father, we say, because we are in Christ Jesus. Because we are in Christ Jesus, because we have given our life to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Therefore, Father, we have been connected to Jesus. Mm-hmm. We have been connected to, to, the, to the power source that is, that is able to translate us, to get us out of darkness into light. Therefore, Father, our glory mm-hmm. is not in darkness. Our glory mm-hmm. is in the light. Therefore, Father, mm-hmm. after we are in the light. That we are in the light. Because whoever is in Christ Jesus is in the light. Therefore, Father, we are asking. Right now, Baba, show us, Father, what step to take in the name of Jesus. Father, show us, Baba, what step to take, where to go, who to meet. Father, go carry the la paria. Father, help us to be at the right at the right time, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, open our eyes, Father, to know those who are our enemies. Because Jesus knew his enemies. And that was why Jesus did not commit himself, Father, to people because he knew what was in them. He knew those that was that were his own. He knew those that were his enemies. And that was why Jesus was so careful, Father. Lord, I pray, Baba, that you give me the number of us, that designing spirit, Father, to be able to know those that we can relate with. Father, so that we will not talk our lives into the hands of our enemies and they will not use it against us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank now you are going to you. pray this prayer. You are going to pray this prayer for yourself. This last one. You are going to pray it for yourself. Hallelujah. I am going to pray it for myself. My Father, <laughs> where I have used my mouth to say negative words into my life, which the enemy is now using against me, be merciful unto me, O oh Lord. My heavenly father, where I have used my mouth to say negative words into my life, which the enemy is now using against me, Father, be merciful unto me. Let me remind you, Numbers chapter 14. Let me, you see, look, I have scriptures to back up this, this, this point that the devil cannot destroy your destiny. Your, the devil cannot destroy your glory. The devil cannot transfer your glory. It's not possible while you are alive. He cannot. Number chapter 14. God destined the children of Israel to Canaan land, to, to Canaan land, to the promised land. But do you know that majority of them, except Caleb and Joshua, they use their tongue to say negative words. They said they, said they how they wish that they, they would die in the wilderness. And God said in Numbers 14, 28, he said, as you have spoken to my ears, so will I do. So since we have said it, I will help you. What did God do? The Canaan land, the, the glory land, Nothing happened to them. It was intact. I told you, it was intact. But what did God do? They were already at the border, at the at the canal, uh, canal border. Just like if you are traveling to uh, Cameroon now, you will get to the border. You see, bye bye to Nigeria. Welcome to Cameroon. So that border, they got there. From that point, God made them to turn back and they face where they were coming from. They were now facing Egypt. So God made them to be going round, 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 round until they all died. Do you see it now? Who died? Is it their glory or did them say? Their mm -hmm. glory did not die. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Their glory, their glory did not die. It was they themselves who opened their, who used their mouth to say that they want to die in, 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 uh, in, in the wilderness. They were the ones that died. Those children that they thought that they would that, uh, that they would die. Those children that were born in the wilderness, they were the one who entered into that glory. I told you. The glory that we are talking about is not a man-made glory. The devil cannot stop it. The devil cannot destroy it. But the devil can destroy you if you allow it. They allow the devil to destroy them. It was the devil that destroyed them. The same devil that, that influenced them to use negative words to cause themselves. Because it is a principle. Whatever you, you say, you will get it. It's a principle. They said they will die. And they will help them to die in the wilderness. You will not die in your own wilderness. In the name of Jesus. You will not die in your own wilderness. That's why you have to cry out. You have to cry out. You have to cry. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Where I have used my where I have used my mouth to say negative words against my life, which the devil is now using against me. Ask Baba, shalom me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Begin to pray. Begin to pray right now. That's the last prayer point. Father, in the name of Jesus, you marate se le kupara katia. Okay, I look what. My Lord, I look pedua se le kia do ena kalia. Oh, my Likarande, say, Lukute, La Papaya, dea. Or Gale Cacadonia, Ali, a den of Pupala, Ali Caran, Davy, Ano, and Lupia, de Napo, who are no Puedo, Mapuria, or Yene, Ali Caran, de Rebus, or Dul Picuado, or Yene, Ala Caran, de Nepuado. Father, Lord, where I have used, Father, my power to say negative words, Father, which the enemy is now using against me, Father, to stop me from assessing. 
I say my glory, Father is using as a legal ground. Father, I cry unto you, Father, for mercy. Lord, I cry unto you for mercy. Rabba Rokiado. Father, I cry unto you for mercy. Mercy, mercy. Lobe Korane Musoto Babu Karadia. Elo, do me for Father Gela. I did not speak for Karadu. Father, I pray, Father, for everyone, Father, or the Karate, Seli Katale, who are those. That I cooper in a city in a cooper lake carrier. You may open Friday, say you go there. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you and myself and our household, we will all become what. The Almighty God has destined us for originally mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. That which God knew you for, according to Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. That which God knew me for, that which God knew our family members for. We are going to be alive, strong enough. We are going to live long enough to manifest it in the name of Jesus. To mm-hmm. manifest it. And beginning mm-hmm. from now. By the reason of the anointing that is on this man, on this mountain, that anointing, that anointing to begin to work for you, for us mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus, and mm-hmm. for everyone that will get connected with us on this platform, I have only currently said in that whatever, no matter how dirty her life or his life would have been, no matter how dirty his background or her background would have been. Because they have gotten connected to Christ in the name of Jesus. That anointing, like here, that anointing will begin to work right now in the life of such individuals. And the original plan and purpose for which God brought him or has to the world, he, will, he or she will live to become it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. From today, life will no more be had on us in the name of Jesus. From today, from today, every step we take shall be step to glory, not step to shame, not step to humiliation, not step to disgrace in the name of Jesus. Every step we take will be step to glory, will be step to dignity, will be step to honor in the name of Jesus. And Amen. God, the Almighty, He will use our past, our mess, and He will turn them around for miracle into our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Amen. Baba, we say thank you. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Amen. So shall it be unto us. Thank you. Father, give everyone, Father, Amen. let them have understanding of what we are discussing. And, and we are praying for in the name of Jesus. Amen. By honor before the year runs out, we will all come together to celebrate. Amen. You will celebrate me, I will celebrate Amen. you. Amen. You will celebrate me, I will celebrate you. Amen. You will celebrate me, I will celebrate you. Amen. This year shall be a year of celebration. We will cruise. This year we, we shall cruise even in glory. We will cruise Amen. in glory. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Baba, we say thank you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You see, Amen. already, one of us, one of us, you know, she used to attend our monthly FDG, you know. As I'm forgetting to you now, she's in the air now. So go and meet her husband. She's in the air. She and her two, uh, two children. She's, she's, in the, uh, she's in the airplane. She's now relocating. To her abroad to go and meet with her husband. I prayed with her a couple of hours ago before she took off. I am telling you, you are the next. If you have to relocate, God will make a way for you to relocate. Amen. Hallelujah. I too, Amen. I will relocate this year. I'm relocating this year in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, brethren. In the name of, uh, by the grace of God, in the month of June, don't forget, June. First, second, third. The first Monday, the the, mon- the first Monday of June, Tuesday, Wednesday, fasting and praying. We'll be meeting one hour every day, the same time. 
those three days. And we are going to pray all this into manifestation. I am telling you, this month of June, oh, expect miracles. Expect Amen. miracles. Amen. We are continuing with this, with this series, this, with, with this subject, glory. Your glory will manifest. In fact, your glory Amen. must manifest. Amen. Must, Amen. must. Amen. It's a must. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 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 All right. Don't forget our, I will not weep over my child. It's coming up also this month of November. Then our monthly vigil on the 16th of uh, uh, June we shall be at, uh, by the grace of God, Four Square, Itimu, just in Lagos. Get us there. By the grace of God, we have gotten a, a hall there in the camp that we are using, AC. So we pray in comfort. And the Lord will answer our prayers. And for those who will not be able to make it, we also stream it. Our problem is that uh, network is not helping us, but God will help us. We'll try to, uh, to use a network service uh, provider that will make the network okay so that those who are in diaspora and outside Lagos can also participate. Hallelujah. Are you blessed today? Jesus, yes. Hallelujah. I too am blessed. As I, as I was praying for you, I was also praying for myself. I knew. I knew because I told God. I said, God, I'll be praying for them. Me too. I know the Lord, remember me too. The other sister now, she has relocated now to go and meet her husband. I said, God, me too. Do my own too. Relocate me to go and meet my wife too. And the Lord will do it. By this morning, she will learn. Uh, she will arrive, you know. Where our husband is outside Nigeria. Hallelujah. All right. God bless you. We we'll meet again next week. Let's invite people to come. Let's continue with this series. Glory. I am destined for glory. Another uh, minister of God will be coming to start to us. And I'm, and I'm telling you, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Hallelujah. All right. God bless us. Good night. Uh, Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.